Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Tomi. Jollof rice is a popular and well-loved West African rice dish with a heavily aroma, deep bread color, and spicy flavor. It's one of my favorite dishes growing up in Nigeria, and it still is. I'm always looking to improve my recipe. So I'm here with Frances Didinali of Frances Kitchen Nigerian Cuisine, and she's going to show me how she makes hers. Hi, Tommy. So to me, jollof rice means joy and celebration. What does it mean to you? Oh, it means Africa, it means gathering. So tell me about your recipe. Um, this is a special recipe of mine, but different cultures have different ways of doing, cooking their own um, jollof rice. Yes, I know about that. It's so debatable, eh? Yes. <laughs> so what's first? So we have our blender, roughly chopped onion, red peppers, tomatoes, and two scotch bonnet pepper. However, we're just gonna be using one because scotch bonnet peppers are very hot. Um, today, our jello fries is gonna be moderate, it's gonna be mild. Um, however, if you like hot pepper, you can always use more scotch bonnet pepper. I love hot jello fries, so the one scotch bonnet won't do it for me, but okay, we'll just <laughs> leave it there. As instructed by Francis, I add the ingredients to the blender and blend for one to two minutes. After blending, Francis pours the mixture into the pot on the stove to boil for about 18 minutes on high heat. So while we have the blended mixture boiling, we're gonna move on to the second um, step. We're gonna um, deep fry the tomato paste. So here we have our small pots on the stove and I'm gonna add one cup of oil. When it comes to oil, you can always add one cup or two cups depending on your level of preference. So I'm gonna add this to the pots. I'm gonna add the oil into the pots. Switch on the stove. I use high heat, and that's because I don't have patience for low heat. I don't have patience for food. <laughs> <laughs> Once the oil is hot, Frances adds the second chopped onion. While I stir, she adds the tomato paste. Francis, this smells so great. I know. I can't wait for you to try this jollof. So we're going to keep stirring for roughly six minutes. Wow, I need to get paid to do this. Stirring <laughs> is hard work. You can be my sous chef. After six minutes, Francis adds the fried paste to the blender mixture. That, that is all gooey and nice. Yes. Oh my gosh. And Tommy, do you mind adding the two cups of chicken stock? Yes, sure, I would love to. So I'll get you to add two bay leaves. And I'm not chopping this or anything, just no. plain. No, yes. Okay. This gives it a unique taste. Then it's time to add the spices. Two tablespoons of each, all-purpose seasoning, curry, thyme, chicken stock powder, and a pinch of salt. Tommy, can you stir the mixtures together? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so nice with the thyme and the bay leaves and the curry. I love that curry smell. Mm -hmm. So while you're stirring that, I'm going to increase the heat to the highest. So we're going to um, cover the pot and let this cook for six minutes. While the mixture cooks, Francis rinses the rice for about three minutes under hot running water using a strainer. The type of rice you use is important. Francis prefers long grain parboiled rice. After rinsing, she adds the rice to the pot on the stove. 
stirs in the last two cups of chicken stock, adds in two more tablespoons of powdered chicken stock and a pinch more of salt. The last step is to cover the pot with aluminum foil wrap. Replace the cover and cook on low heat for about one hour and 15 minutes. While we're waiting for the jollof rice to cook, I know that you were giving free meals to international students from African countries and the Caribbean as well. Why did you do that and why do you continue to do things like that? I wanted to give back to the community and the way to give back to the community was to put myself in the shoes of international um, students. They are away from home and I wanted them to at least taste something from back home to make them feel like they are back in their countries. So I ended up cooking a f um, free meals, jello fries and um, barbecue chicken. Um, for the international students, and I did it this year again. That's so great. Perfect. I think it's ready. This smells so delicious, Francis. Thanks for adding the plantain and the chicken. I was not expecting that, was I? You're welcome. You can never have jollof rice without plantain. Yes, okay, I can't wait to try it, so I'm just going to dig in here. Please do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is fry news. <laughs> jello fries, okay? It's not like every other jello fries. It is delicious. Thank you so much for teaching me your recipe. You're welcome. For the full recipe, go to ami.ca slash ami dash this dash week dash blog.